What's up, y'all? Hollow King back again here with another episode of Toy Buzzed. We're going to get into something today, man. Today we're bringing Owlman out his package to get to the Starro pieces to put together Starro, man. Or at least continue putting them together. We're going to get to that in a minute. Also, I got another figure I want to go over, man. I've been drinking. I've been feeling good, man. And let's just talk some toys, bro. If you don't know by now, man, get with the program, man. This is Toy Buzzed. Right now we're gonna get right straight to it. I'm gonna get a little quick recap of Starro here. What we what I have so far. Of course, the next pieces are gonna be an owl man. But you got Starro, man. Starro looking real good. Love the back piece too. The detail is just incredible. This build a figure or collect a build, whatever you want to call it, man. It, it's great, man. Loving it. I'm having fun hunting them down and collecting them. It looks great, man. So far, Owl Man is the only one I haven't been able to find in the wild. He had to get delivered, and he did. He got delivered. Before we get to this, man, we're gonna pop this open live right now, or at least you know, you know what I mean. But I just want to drop some. I just want to name drop this figure, man. Batman: The Last Night on Earth, man. I love this figure, bro. I think this is one of the coldest Batmans I've ever seen. The story behind it too, man. Like he got locked up. He came out in his uh, his insane, what do they call them? The straight jackets, man. I mean, this figure, bro. I love it, bro. I don't think this figure gets talked about enough. I don't think this figure got the credit it deserved. But me personally, think this is awesome, bro. And then you get the little Joker head, bro. The Joker be talking to him while he's going through his journey in the whole little series, the whole little storyline, bro. It's awesome, bro. He got the baton, like from one of those wardens that was trying to keep him down, bro. This is a piece, bro. This one's staying in the package, though. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry, y'all. This one's staying in the package. That Bane, bro. The Bane, I know a lot of people didn't like this Bane. The build a fig Bane. And I get it, bro. I'm a fan. I like it. I like the style. I like the whole, the last night on earth, like thing it got going for it. So I even got that uh, special five pack edition that McFarlane put out, bro. I got that one, man. I love it too, bro. It just has all of them together and Bane's right in the middle. It looks great, bro. So that was just a little shout out to Batman here. The last night on earth. Shout out to him. Now, the moment I've been waiting for it. I'm trying to put my Starro together. Let's get to it. All right, y'all. So here we, shoot, here we go. Gonna pop this open. Now, here on Toy Buzz, man, I have myself a little drinky drinkies, bro. Yeah, I just feel, I feel like talking, man. So I'm gonna talk to y'all. Oh, I just ripped it down. You know what I'm talking? I'm gonna talk to y'all, man. Cause that's how it's gonna go. See right here. Fresh out the pack, man. Oh. That out of here. Don't worry, hey, don't get me wrong. I don't really respect boxes, man, but I just need Starro right now, bro. So right here, of course, bro, you open them up. You got your trading card. McFarlane has those trading cards. You gotta love it. With your basic figure stand. I'll take it all day, man. Cause sometimes these figures don't stand up, bro. They don't stand up. So, Alright, out of the package, bro. Here we go. Owl man is still in this plastic. Pop out that. Oh, that baby star got a little. Hold on. Oh, man. We're going to get him out right here, of course. The baby Star Wars, man. This is great, bro. I'm, I'm glad they all come with one, man, because we're going to have four of them by the time it's all over, bro. That's great. So that's my third one there. And also, bro, Owl Man, if y'all want to see a review on him, y'all can look up a review on Owl Man. I unfortunately didn't get to mine, but it's all good, bro. Like I said, today we're gonna put Star Row together, man. Just continue connect, connecting it. So let me bro, go ahead and release this beast. Oh man, I'm about to cut myself. Let's see, bro. I appreciate y'all if y'all tuning in, man. I appreciate y'all chilling here and watching with me. 
watching me, <laughs> talking with me. You know what I mean? We're just talking some toys, man. Listen to me. Bam. Bam. The Owl Man, right here, he's going he's gonna be put aside right here. We ain't doing that tonight. So here we go, man. We got Star Rose. I don't know yet if these are his legs or his arms. I'm assuming they're his arms. That look cool, man. Come with that bendy wire inside. You could pose them a little bit. Let's get a look on that detail. And I am using a different camera angle, I guess, today. Normally when I shoot this, I shoot with the front facing camera, but I was hating the quality of the videos, man. So I flipped it over and I'm kind of shooting blindly right now, but we're gonna hit our mark, bro. Either way, we're gonna hit our mark here. So here we go, man. We got the two. <laughs> I don't know what these are yet, bro. I'm pretty, I think they're the arms. But let's go ahead and snap them in and see how they go, bro. Here we go. You know what? It probably said it, probably said it on the box, didn't it? All right, bro. All right. Okay. So they are going to be his. There's his arms. Oh, there is arms. Boom. Snapped it in right there. Man. Boom, there it is, bro. Look how bigger he got, bro. This star just keeps growing, man. Can this will this be top like build a figure, collect a build figure of 2022? I, I think it's a good running, bro. Honestly, bro, the detail? The detail of this bad boy, man? Come on. Now this is something McFarlane, like I said, is doing right. I know he puts out a lot of figures, bro. Some of them, I mean, some of them are a little questionable at the most, but he's giving this stuff. He's giving this stuff to collect, man, and he is not disappointed. Look at that thing, bro. That is great, man. You got the little bend in there. Can, can his head bend? Head bends too. Look at that, man. This is this is nice. I'm going to stop doing that because he's going to be all, all one guy when I'm done with it, bro. Look at that. We're going to leave him right there. So that's Star, bro. The last one we're missing is his two little legs, bro. And we're going to have a complete Star rope. This is great, man. Again, here's Star with a little baby Star -O. What did they he shoot out of his mouth, right? Or Come out like that. That's great stuff, man. I am enjoying the Star rope build a figure, man. All right, y'all, so I did kind of feel bad for popping open the Starro pieces and teasing Owl Man and not even showing them off a little bit. Owl Man, he does look great, bro. In hand, man, this figure does feel good. It feels good. It feels right. It doesn't feel cheap. I'm telling you, man, my cheapest figure I've ever felt from McFarlane, man, had to be that Black Adam from the, the Endless Winter, man. I don't know, man. You just tap him. He was just ticking like some cheap plastic. And I know it's all plastic, but something about... I don't know if it was his mind, but my Black Adam from the Endless Winter, man, that, that was just, it felt cheap. But this feels good, bro. Owl Man coming in, looking good. He's got those those eyes piercing through, bro. He's got the nice armor set up, but his cape, man. Look at this cape. You see the cape there? Man, McFarlane hits capes pretty nice, bro. That, that detail on there, bro, looks great. Let me see here, bro. We're going to put Owl Man with Starro coming through. Look at that, man. That size comparison. That's crazy, bro. This thing is... This is nice. This is a good figure, bro. I, I like it. It feels good. He's got those, those claws on there, too, man. Like, ready to... Ah, it's Catman. What the hell? <laughs> I don't know what the sound that one makes, but... Yeah, bro. That's good stuff right there, man. So that's just a little bit on that one, man. We're going to dabble with him. We're going to dabble with him. But, man... Let me get to this next topic, man. It's a little something I've been thinking about, man. Uh, the size of the Mega Fig boxes, bro. Like, like with Necron and Bane and. L let's get to that. All right, man. So we're gonna go ahead and put Starro and Owl Man to the side over here. That's pretty much a wrap for that for now. And uh, yeah, man. Like I was saying, man. The the Mega Fig, Big Fig boxes. I, I'm 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 a little. I got a. I'm pondering, man. I'm wondering about about something about them. And we we gonna pull up like right here, man. We got Necron. These are the boxes they've been coming in, man. Like Clayface, Titan, Joker, Bane. Um, who is it? 
Adam, the Adam Smasher, the from the Black Adam movie, and the Devil guy I can't think of right now. They all have similar boxes to the size. Now, I don't know if I'm just late to the party with some information or, but I do have an older figure here, a dark side, gold label right here, armored version. And his box, I mean, he's a, he looked to me, and that looks like a mag fig, but the box is a lot, a lot slimmer, man. And I said, well, you know what, maybe, maybe just the heights wouldn't add up, but these are about the same, same height, man. But you see here? We got this totally wider box here. And I, I don't know, am I crazy? I think Necron and Bane, and then the two for also from Black Adam, could have fit in a box like this in Dark Side here, man. I don't know, man. I, I like this size of box better. It, it fits a lot better on the shelves, man. Don't get me wrong, man. Everybody loves a big, uh, like a nice big uh, mega figure. But I feel like there's a lot of, uh, let me see, where's Bane? Let me pull out Bane real quick. I feel like there's a lot of uh, space here, man, that we could have worked, you know, worked down a little bit. But I don't know if there was a reason for that, man. If there was a reason for the, the packaging or y'all know something I don't, let me know in the comments, man. I'd love to love to be informed. But yeah, man, I, it's just been it's just been on my mind a little bit the diff, size difference between the boxes, man. I mean, I'm still collecting them, man. But like I, this, this look at that. I don't know if you can see like that the difference right there. You got a whole look at that. that's a lot right there, man. I think Bane and Necron and a few more of the main figs could have fit in here. Of course, Clayface probably not. Titan Joker probably not. I get that. But I don't know what happened to this size box, man. It's got me wondering, bro. But yeah, that's a little gold label right there. We already seen these two in the last Buzz Talk. Buzz Talk. Toy Buzz, man. I don't even know the own damn name of my my episodes here. But yeah, man, it's a little it's another little piece of my collection. I dig it, man. I dig it. All right, y'all, just a little quick recap of when, what we went over with tonight. Uh, everything cool, man. We're having a good time. DC Multiverse, Todd McFarlane, you're doing your thing, man. Appreciate what you're bringing to us. And we're going to put this to a side now, bro. The episode comes to a close, man. I just want to, I can't stress it enough, man. Life gets hard sometimes. It gets hard, bro. This hobby, enjoy it, love it. If you're having a stressful time, man, go hunt, man. Go open a figure, man. I guarantee you, man. It's going to make you feel a little bit better. But in all seriousness, man, appreciate y'all for watching. If you did, thanks for getting toy buzz with me. And as always, we'll catch you next time.